Good evening, welcome back to the channel Fishing and Country Life with me Tommy Joe. It's um, a wet night tonight but I've got out just before dark and uh, I wanted to get out just before dark this evening so I could show a couple of people what I mean by fishing in gullies and holes and stuff like that. Um, so a few people have asked what do you mean by you fishing in a gully or what do you mean by you fishing back in uh, into holes and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flick you around and show you the mark that I'm fishing tonight. Something that I don't do very often is show the exact marks where I'm fishing. But um, I'm going to do it tonight. Um, because, you know, at the end of the day, the sea's there for everyone. But I don't like to recommend places because I don't want to see somebody get hurt off the back of me. Um, and the reason I picked to do YouTube is hopefully to inspire some people to get out there fishing and uh, show what can be there if you put in the efforts. So behind me you see the cliff that I've come down. This isn't a place for people that don't like heights and it definitely isn't a place um, if you're unable to get down these cliff marks and stuff. Um, and the, the tide does come round you on this mark in lots of places. You really need to know where you're going. Um, let me show you the gully anyway. I think I've gone on enough. So I'll show you the gully and uh, hopefully you'll see what I mean. Right then, so we're an hour off low water and this is the gully that I'm going to start off on this evening. So I'm going to start off that point there. Um, it will drop a little bit more, but I'll start off that point there. There's a little bit of a hole just at the back of that point. Then I'll follow the flooding tide up here, um, fishing into, obviously you can see the ground heavy kelp, weed, rocks, boulders, a little bit of sand in between the rocks, fishing into that ground, um, I follow the tide up and then I've got a couple more gullies I can try over high water and a couple of holes so let's see if I can find myself a bass or something exciting this evening. So I'm out, I'm fishing, we've got an angry sky the rain has stopped for the last five or ten minutes, but it's promised a lot of rain in a minute. But that's absolutely beautiful of a night. Come on, you bass. So, the first fish of the night comes in the shape of a dogfish. Now, I'm going to measure this dogfish, and the reason for that is I'm in a competition, or in Biggest Fish Pools it is. It's run on a Facebook page called Anglesey Match Anglers, and it's run by Dave Cave. If you go on to the uh, Anglesey Match Anglers Facebook page, all the details are on there and it's called the Big Fish Pool. Um, and there's a prize for all sorts of different fish from tow to um, pollock to ras to tadpole fish. There's a few different things on there. Check it out on the Anglesey, Anglesey Match Anglers Facebook page. And uh, there is a little entry fee, but all the money gets donated. All the details are on there. Take a look. So I'm going to measure this one out and see if it'll get me anywhere. Second fish of the night. Comes in with this lovely little rocklin. Don't mind catching these when they're this big. When you catch the little ones, I'm not interested like. But yeah, it's a nice little rocklin up. Let's get it back. On the move. Nothing but doggies in that gully and the, uh, and the rocklin. So it's time for a move now, along these rocks, to another gully. I don't stay still for long, About usually about five casts, six casts, and if it's not happening, or if it's doggies, then I get on the move. So, work my way along here now, to the next gully. Well, let's see if we can find anything in that one other than the dog fishing. So I'm just having a quick chuck at this, there's a hole just out there here, um, just over the back of these breakers, over the back of them breakers there, there's a hole. So I'm just having a quick chuck here, hold my rod whilst I stand on this one. Um, I only have two casts into this one and I'll move off. I've left my stuff just up on the top of the rock, rocks behind me over here. Um, so uh, yeah, let's just see if I can find anything now. There you are, eh? An angle sea codling. Yeah, check it out. I had 44 codling this this year, like this winter, not this year, but through the winter. And this is the first one I've had off the island. It's a nice Anglesey codling. 
Um, and it'll be tea tomorrow night, that. Happy days. So, I'm just getting hammered by weed or dog fish. Um, so I'm on the move again. And this is like the fourth or fifth move now. Um, yeah, so on the move. Look at loads of prawns in here. I don't know if you can see them on the video, but I see, uh, see their eyes glowing down there. I don't know if you can or not. You see their eyes glowing now. My light was too bright on them. Loads of prawns. So that means there's loads of food here. Um, there's plenty of dog fish here. It's blowing an absolute hooli. Anyway, on to the next gully. Let's see what I can find. Right, this is a safety thing I'm doing for the video, okay? The tide's now flooding. I've got the cliff up there. And uh, it's absolutely pushing in hard now, right? I'm only up to my knee, uh, up to my ankles in water. The tide's there. Yeah, pushing in. Now I want to go this way. But watch this now, I'm up to my ankles in water. Okay? I know where I'm going here, so look at this now. This drops off. I'm up to my knees. And it keeps dropping. And if I was to walk that way another 10 yards, I'd disappear. So you've got to know where you're going when you're fishing gullies and stuff like this, guys. Yeah? It's not a matter of just, oh yeah, I'll fish there. You've got to be really careful. And my advice in this video, because I try and put something in all my videos, is fish these, these new marks, to your knowledge, in daylight first. Even if it's two tides, fish them in the daylight, get to learn the marks, and then decide if you feel comfortable to fish them at night. So I'm back on another gully now. So I've got the gully there, runs up there. I'm back to the cliff up there. The gully's filling in quite fast now. My gear is all the way up there. So you've got the gully runs down here. I got, that's the cliff up there. The gully runs down here. I got, and all the way down. It's only about 60 yards wide, this gully. So it's only a gentle throw into the gully. And as you can see, no tripod, nothing like that. I hold my rod when I'm fishing these sort of uh, marks, yeah? Well... Well, it's not through lack of trying. I've managed to find one tonight. Um, I've still got a couple of hours left of this session. But I've been bouncing about from mark to mark, and gully to gully, just trying to find a bass. The weed's horrendous. I've been getting hammered by dogfish. Obviously I've had a nice codling, I've had a rockling. Uh, there we go, it's a nice bass there. Um, good bass there, nice one for keeping. So uh, yeah, I'm going to take that home, I've got somebody after one. So uh, I'll be giving this one to some dear friend of mine as I for one. Well that's me back in the car, what a night it's been. So um, I've had to really pack up because I've run out of bait. That's a simple reason really, otherwise I'd still be there. But I got work in the morning, so it's not a bad thing. Not a bad result though, is it? Um, a nice codling, a nice bass once again. Loads of dogfish, a rockling. Um, I lost a very nice fish. What it was, I'll never know. But it was a good fish, good head shakes, plenty of, plenty of thumps. Um, I know that sort of fishing isn't for everybody. And uh, you know, you're constantly on the move, you're bouncing from rock to rock, it's dark out there, it's wet, it's windy, um, and you really do need to know what you're doing and where you're going. I'm no expert, but you know, I fish these marks for years, I fish them in the daylight, I pretty much know what the tides are doing when I'm fishing them. So, you know, I'm just trying to put it across. Be safe out there, guys, enjoy doing what you're doing, and girls. Um, you know, be safe out there. The sea won't give you any second chances. So um, until next time, keep safe, keep fishing, keep chasing them dreams.